Hello there, my name is Richard Gale and I'm going to be talking about the Trump system of lenses from DSO or dog shit optics as we're more commonly known. So the Trump 58 is a 58mm f2 lens um, with focus gear, PL mount which is EF friendly which means it will fit on um, any Canon camera via a lens adapter like so. You now got a Canon EF mount lens that will fit on any camera with an EF mount. Um, no infinity problems at all. And then a PR mount which will work on any camera with a PR mount. So the main reason I'm going to be talking about this lens um, this evening is because of the fact that we've been developing um, a range of interchangeable fronts for the 58mm Trump lens. Um, at the moment this is um, set up with the um, 58mm hood, a nice um, deep conical hood. Um, but the main reason for this is to um, reduce the amount of flaring from a lens which is actually designed and kind of um, assembled and optically degraded in order to obtain a quite flary, vintage, rustic look anyway. Uh, the magic happens when you actually start to then suppress those flares because you start to obtain a look uh, very similar to how you'd um, expect to see a film shot with historic lenses. Back in historic times they'd have had to have used um, flags, matte box, matte boxes, uh, they have really had to control the lighting and control um, the amount of light hitting the lens due to the fact that anti-reflective coatings wouldn't have been as efficient. Um, so this um, rather large and deep conical hood is really nice because um, shooting with this lens you get the natural look of a low contrast lens with a little bit more control and suppression of the flares um, and then the moment that light gets past here and hits the lens obviously then the lens wakes up it just gives you a little bit more of a subtle um, and, and a bit more of a controllable um, flaring. Um, so obviously we had the 58mm lens and that was kind of embraced by a lot of people who were interested in kind of creative effects within cinematography, uh, fashion photography, um, even personal projects. Um, a lot of these guys were asking for a wide angle lens and ideally a telephoto. So um, we went about uh, looking into suitable donor lenses uh, which would work within the Trump philosophy and there was nothing that would deliver um, the quality um, that we were looking for but also the historic look. Um, donor lenses tended to be very very expensive um, that would actually deliver what we kind of desired. So we looked into and started to ve uh, develop very high-end uh, front-mounted um, attachments uh, this here being the Trump 38 optical attachment, as you can see. Now this is designed to perfectly integrate with the 58mm original optics. Um, a four element design, um, highly corrected for all sorts of nasties like the chromatic aberration, um, softening, um, barrel distortion. There's minimal barrel distortion but it is there and if anything that adds to the image quite nicely, particularly um, in the kind of uh, scope of the Trump lens system. Those kind of artifacts are something that's um, quite desired. Um, so this will attach to the front and interchange um, and provide a 38mm uh, mm field of view. Um, we've also uh, we're currently working on the glass department for an 88mm um, optical attachment which shares exactly the same external dimensions as this lens. It's no longer... Um, the idea is you can interchange between the fronts 
and get three different focal lengths from one um, configured lens which has got its own um, personality and character. So obviously the, uh, the Trump 58 lens can be purchased and used as a kind of um, you know, the little rabbit out, uh, coming out of the uh, the hat, the, the kind of uh, party trick type lens for that kind of lo-fi look. But if you did want to use the lens with multiple focal lengths, these optical attachments um, are phenomenal. And if anything, from the uh, tests that I've been doing, um, even on full frame, I mean, this has been designed specifically to deliver the quality required for the full frame 5D Mark III, um, A7S, Sony, um, and whatever is in future, you know, for example, the Dragon is a bigger sensor than Super 35. Um, these lenses have been, been designed to deliver optical clarity and the quality required right to the edges. Um, now, a lot of um, users have been requesting complete lenses because obviously um, this rear optic is rather um, precariously um, exposed and say using on a fast paced um, shoot environment or maybe people who aren't familiar with using this maybe you rent the lenses out um, those type of people who who want the more traditional way of working um, we will actually um, create or um, provide three individual complete lenses which are all matched so as I showed you before this is the 58 millimeter lens with the interchangeable apertures the PL mount uh, and this one here is the 38 millimeter both exactly the same external um, the only differences are the field of view now there's um, neglig negligible um, light loss um, from this, so you're actually getting a 38mm f2. Um, so side by side they match perfectly and um, deliver a really really nice look. Um, yeah, this is a real, real nice lens. If anything, the 38mm um, delivers a, a better image than the 58, um, particularly on smaller sensors, because obviously it widens your field of view um, a little bit more. Um, because the optics within this unit are so highly corrected, the image is um, really, really refined. Uh, the minimum focus distance on this is also pretty impressive. You've got a 15 centimeter minimum focus at full swing, which is around a 10 millimeter um, extension, 9 to 10 millimeter um, extension during focusing. Um, this is a uh, 0.45 of a meter minimum focus. Uh, so the 58 is 0.45, the 38 is 0.15 which is really good for macro um, close-up face shots, um, particularly on full frame. When you get close, um, this has still got the field of view um, suitable for a, a close-up face shot. You can really kind of um, close in on the detail there and get some real nice shallow depth of field. Um, finally, obviously, the 88mm optical attachment, which is a 1.55 times teleconverter, is um, moderately more complex in terms of opticals um, than the 38mm uh, optics that we designed for this unit. Um, but yes, um, there's quite a few people who are opting for the, um, the three lens set, the 38, the 58 and the 88. Obviously the 38 and the 58 are the only ones available at the moment. However, due to the fact that the 88 is almost there, um, I'm actually um, assuming someone orders three lenses. I configure three uh, matched Trump 58 bodies and then lock the front optics in and configure each one so that they all work perfectly. And obviously because the internal optics within the 58mm portion, the main body, 
um, because they're all matched, I know that when I send out the 88mm, uh, it will match these first two focal lengths. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Cost-effective cost way is to go for a single... Uh, Trump 58, like so. And then you can actually remove this front section, which is a non-optical, nice deep conical um, hood for suppressing the flares. And then, ideally, I'd rather be uh, kneeling down um, over a lens box to do this, but then obviously install line up and that lens has now been changed into a 38 millimeter field of view and obviously the 88 when that is available finally um, it kind of had to be done um, we've started to develop a anamorphic attachment for use specifically with this system. So the 38, the 58 and the 88 lenses um, will be followed by a large anamorphic attachment um, onto which these slide in and out of. The actual anamorphic um, section is a front mounted anamorphic um, which will be supported by 15mm or 19mm rails um, and that will provide a 1.5 times um, anamorphic squeeze ratio, um, providing 38mm, um, 58 and 88mm on full frame. Now obviously this is um, a, a high-end anamorphic attachment which will be rather costly. Um, however, the uh, key criteria has been to develop something that can also be used on um, other cinema lenses. For example, Cook S4s, um, the Arri Master Primes, Arri Zeiss uh, Master Primes, and with a 62mm rear element on the uh, anamorphic attachment, that should, um, obviously we need to uh, perform tests, but based on our predictions, um, we're looking at a 25mm um, widest angle lens that will work so assuming you were to fit a 25 millimeter or a 24 millimeter um, ARRI master prime onto the Alexa in 16 to 9 mode uh, you should get away with um, no vignetting at all and that will deliver a very very wide field of view um, equivalent to around an 18 16 to 18 millimeter um, spherical cropped, but obviously you'll have the desirable um, anamorphic um, optical characteristics there. Uh, obviously on full frame, 35mm um, is the cutoff. So assuming your taking lens has got um, a front optic which is smaller or matches the 62mm rear optic of our anamorphic attachment, uh, the anamorphic will work um, and will work on a single focus basis. Um, and due to the fact that the rear optic is so large and the front optic is around 125 millimeters in diameter, um, this will permit almost unobstructed light transmission up to and including T1.3 onto a Super 35 image sensor. Um, so that is in the pipeline. Um, so yeah, this video was mainly to illustrate the current system. Um, you can either order a single Trump 58 lens and add the attachments as and when you might require them, or um, opt for three individual lenses, in which case each lens is optically matched and you've got the ability to um, shoot in a slightly faster pace with less chance of damage to the... Um, the rear optics of the optical attachments. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any uh, questions, um, please send an email um, to the usual email address. You'll be able to find it via dogshitoptics.co.uk. That's uh, dog, D-O-G, S-C-H-I-D-T, optics with a K rather than a C, .co.uk. Um, so I look forward to any queries you have. Um, if you've currently ordered a Trump lens or you already use a 58mm lens, obviously you've got the option now to um, either add optical attachments as and when they become available or send your 58mm main lens back to be completely um, rebuilt and matched to another set of two lenses. Um, to deliver three complete lenses that all match optically and mechanically. So I hope that's been helpful.